Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble and assemble an Olympus BX45 microscope today. Okay, first we've got uh, the tilting telescoping head, and we have the wrench just like every Olympus microscope. Back here in the top right hand corner, we're going to use that and we're going to take the head off. It goes here in the Allen screw. Always keep your head on the your hand on the head, two hands. The eyepieces will fall out. Once you get it down, take the eyepieces out. On this particular scope, the nose piece does not come off. You want to get the weight off of this nose piece for shipping. So if you're disassembling it to ship, screw off the objectives. So you can raise it with the focus, raise the nose piece, and then screw off the objectives. Okay. You can use that same three millimeter Allen wrench and take the stage off. So to remove the stage, there's going to be a screw here. Sometimes it's a neural thumb screw. You go ahead and um, in this case, use the wrench. No objectives. It should be easy to come off. If the stage has the coax control, the knob where you adjust the stage to the Y and X, um, go ahead and take that off, lay it down gently so you don't bend it. Okay. Once you have all of that, um, the scope's pretty much ready to pack and uh, just bubble wrap everything. Watch our packing video. Uh, you can look at our other videos on, uh, on YouTube and we'll be able to help you out with that too. Okay, we just disassembled the microscope. Now we're going to show how to reassemble the microscope. So if you just receive this piece of equipment from us, it'll be easier for you to put it together. Uh, there's a lot of other videos that we have that will show you um the bx41 things like that this one the nose piece doesn't remove so uh, that that's the main difference that people struggle with so i'll show you how to screw on the objectives and the process um to to do it once you unbox everything it's going to look like this you're going to have your objectives they're going to be in little bubble bags eyepieces little bubble bags your stage and your head you may have a couple different versions of this head but uh, i'll show you everything about this and uh, how to reassemble it so the first thing, I would take the microscope, your three millimeter wrench, and put the head on. So it's got a dovetail flange. Make sure it uh, lines up. Always keep two hands on everything because sometimes it gets caught on the flange and uh, you'll, have a, you'll struggle with it. It could fall off if it's not down tight. Always give it a little wiggle, make sure it's on there good and snug. And uh, then we're gonna move on to the eyepieces. The eyepieces, just put them right in. This head's pretty interesting. Um, it has a thumb screw here, so you can uh, telescope the head out, telescope it in for ergonomics, and it tilts up and down as well. All right, once you have the head on and the stand, go ahead and screw the objectives on. Just one at a time. It's easier to do without the stage on. Uh, you have a little bit more room. Okay, once the objectives are on, you can go ahead and flip this top condenser out and then slide the stage on. Once you slide the stage on, go ahead and lock it down. I like to put a glass slide behind the stage whenever it has a Y axis on it. And you can put the glass slide to make sure it's square and then slide this back and it'll make sure the stage is square to the stand. So once you have that, um, microscope's ready to plug in and use and uh, if you have to set color illumination on this particular model the keys the centering keys to do that are back here um, on the right side right behind the nose piece so you can take those out there's a video that we have in our on our YouTube channel on how to set color illumination but in this particular case these centering keys right here they come out you're gonna take these centering keys and then you're gonna put them right here. There's a little white triangle where they slide in and you'll feel them click in. There's one there and one on this side, on each side. And uh, then you're ready to set the color illumination and uh, do that with the 10X and just follow the instructions on our video and you, you won't have any problem. It'll walk you through it. It's uh, exactly the same as the 41. You just have to get those centering keys out. Once you do so, um, you set it one time, it really won't go out of color. 
because there's no way to change it. And then screw your keys back in and the microscope's ready to use. If you got any questions, give us a call at Monday Scientific and uh, you can visit us at mondaymicroscope.com or microscopemarketplace.com. That's our online marketplace with all of our uh, microscopes and microscope accessories. Thanks so much.